Okay, uh, welcome everyone to our plenary session. So as we mentioned in the introductory remarks, uh, this session has the top four finalists for the best paper award, no pressure. <laughs> um, it gives us great pleasure to introduce our first presenter, Dr. JJ Garcia, who is a full professor at UC Santa Cruz and uh, the chair, I believe, of the department over there. So um, we thank him for also making it in person. Uh, today, we actually have uh, two in-person plenary presentations and two remote ones. Uh, they're all going to be live. But without further ado, I give you Dr. Garcia. Uh, uh, thank you for um, the opportunity to present my, my paper. And I'm thrilled that to be in the company of three other uh, great uh, uh, set of authors. Um, I'm going to uh, discuss today uh, some topics about uh, the border gateway protocol, and in particular, uh, how to introduce total ordering in BGP, which has been a big problem in the past. Uh, the outline is simple. Uh, first, I'm going to uh, uh, briefly outline some of the issues with BGP as, as the motivation for, for the work. And then I'm going to focus on uh, three key research questions. One is, uh, can we define... Uh, oops. Uh, can we, um, yeah, there you go. Overclicking. Uh, can we define a framework, uh, which uh, many call the uh, routing algebra that focuses on etiquettes, uh, which I call just a, a set of uh, rules of polite behavior for routers to agree to do something without hurting each other. Um, and is it possible to uh, define a routing protocol, any routing protocol that is loop free and is guaranteed to converge within a finite time uh, without the uh, necessity to have a global optima, uh, optimality criteria like shortest path. And, um, and if, if uh, that is the case, is it possible to um, adapt the BGP according to the newly found rules to make BGP loop free and stable? And uh, Thereby, thereby allowing BGP to uh, operate uh, much, much better than it can today across autonomous systems. And uh, the good news is that the answer to those questions is uh, yes. And uh, in a previous paper, I introduced a, an algebra that I call OPERA, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what it means later. And uh, OPERA basically allows, a, a, it's a framework to talk about etiquettes for routing. And then uh, based on that framework, we can define uh, the rules that are, are needed for loop-free convergence without optimality. And it, uh, it doesn't have to be shortest path, it can be anything, including uh, private policies. And then uh, given those results, then we can define what I call opera-based BGP, which is the subject of uh, uh, this paper. So uh, BGP has, uh, uh, is, is the one routing protocol on the internet for routing across autonomous systems is based on path selection. Uh, conceptually, we can think of BGP, uh, in addition to all these mechanisms, as having three key parts. And uh, one part is, um, well, one part is uh, lack of focus. No, uh, it's uh, an input transformation that allows the uh, a BGP speaker to accept uh, paths for possible use. Another one is a preference function with which the BGP speaker decides which of the valid paths uh, uh, to, to start using. And then an export transformation uh, to announce the, the path it, it uses to its neighbor BGP speakers. Uh, it's a single path uh, policy-based routing uh, uh, protocol that importantly uses loop detection uh, based on path information conveyed in, in updates. And, um, a valid path cannot include basically an autonomous system that is part of the path and then be reused uh, by uh, another router in another autonomous in, in the same autonomous system. Uh, the problem with with that uh, 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 setting is that uh, there is a, a well known set of oscillations and, and looping problems in BGP. This is from uh, uh, Griffin and Wilfong in Sitcom 99, but there, there are many many other examples. This is called bad gadget, and it's a, a simple example with uh, four autonomous systems. 
The destination is supposed to be in autonomous system A. The system starts by having autonomous systems C, B, and, a, and D having direct routes to A, but they have a local preference, private local preference to go counterclockwise to the, to the next autonomous system uh, with two hops to get to destination D. And uh, the, what, what I tried to, to show the, the, uh, from the, the paper, uh, the CCOM 99 paper is that because of this uh, lack of coordination, then the system uh, uh, keeps flip, uh, flopping between, flipping and flopping between the direct routes and the two hop routes. And it, it, there is a nonstop uh, for that. There is no known solution for, for this problem or set of problems. And, uh, and uh, we notice here the, uh, the typo. And in addition to the typo, the lack of coordination among the autonomous systems when they make the routing decisions. And that's what leads to the uh, non-termination and looping problems. So prior work uh, has been uh, long and hard for the, since the BGP was found to have problems. Um, there are uh, static approaches. You, uh, one can predefine the policies at all the autonomous systems before they are enacted, but that's not practical as a reference for team shows. There are dynamic approaches that uh, try to fix the signaling of BGP, but to date, uh, none of the, uh, these previous approaches have uh, 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 been shown to, to be uh, guaranteed to be loop-free and, and terminate uh, deterministically. And uh, there are BGP alternatives that haven't been uh, very popular, but today th there is no interdomain <coughs> routing protocol that has been proven to be uh, loop-free at every instant and to uh, have a, a deterministic convergence. There are many uh, frameworks uh, uh, describing how, how uh, interdomain uh, routing should work or can work. But there is no real uh, framework, to my knowledge, that really describes the crux of the problem. Um, and there are many uh, loop-free and safe routing protocols, but they have been confined to in for intra-domain routing and uh, assume uh, an optimality criteria such as a shortest path. Um, the path vectors protocols that have been proposed to date detect loops and say, "Oops, I'm, I'm running a loop," and then try to fix it, but they don't prevent loops. So um, uh, with that, uh, uh, what, uh, uh, in a previous uh, uh, publication, uh, I introduced uh, uh, the a routing algebra for, et uh, for these routing etiquettes, which uh, I call it Opera for Other Path Etiquette for Routing Algebra. I just wanted to use Opera to be melodramatic. And uh, um, so it's like a, uh, you have to fit the, 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 the meaning in the acronym. Um, so, but uh, seriously, then uh, uh, the, there are many aspects of, of uh, Opera or any such framework for et routing etiquettes. What is important for this talk is to focus on the fact that there is a function that uh, it doesn't uh, require a global optimum, doesn't require the policies to be known uh, by everyone, can be private policies, and yet if we can have a labeled induced order relation, the notion that a path that I am being offered is better than the path I have. That's the key to, to success. And that's the focus, and that's why they have the, the, the red arrow heads there, because that's the focus of this, of this talk, not in the overall framework, but just how do we attain total ordering with private policies and uh, with that global optimality criteria. So um, let, let's... Uh, uh, um, Let's talk about the, the second question. Is it possible to have um, convergence without global optimality? And um, we, uh, I define the, these um, um, uh, labels. I, I call them labels in this paper. Uh, it's a path label that you can think of having the, every, every node in, along the path. And uh, the, the, there's a relation uh, better than, uh, uh, label is better than another label relation. Uh, and uh, is such that we have the same type of um, ordering that we have, total ordering <coughs> that we have in integers, meaning that a label cannot be better than itself. If a label is better than a next label and that next label is better than a third label, then the first label is better than the third label. That's transitivity and totality, meaning that uh, uh, one label can be better than the other or the other can be better than the first. 
and um, that's total order. And um, the definition of uh, the label based on this notion of uh, this uh, uh, relation for, to for total ordering of labels is uh, slightly uh, enlarged from BGP. In BGP, basically, the, the BGP speaker says, I cannot use this route <coughs> if my AS is part of the, the, the path or the label already, which is, um, I'll try again, which is this, this part. That's what BGP does. Obviously, that doesn't induce total ordering and therefore uh, the looping problems. So what uh, is added to that is the, the, this um, additional um, parts to induce total ordering. And then what, uh, what is added is the notion that um, uh, if it has to be true that there is no loop, perceived loop, and the label that I'm trying to accept has to be better than the label I already have. And uh, or is it that, or uh, is it the case that the number of AS hops is the same, but lexicographically speaking, the, the ID of the, the AS that is offering me the, the, uh, the new label is bet smaller or better than my own ID in the, in the AS. And, and that's it, uh, that's, uh, that's all this requires. So as an example, <coughs> this, uh, this path, YCD, three hops, is better than KPFED because it's uh, fewer hops. And this path, uh, BYFXD, is better than the, the path from K to, to D because B is lexicographically smaller than K. Um, and uh, now, once we have that, as the recipe for success, then all we have to focus is uh, on this relation, uh, uh, the better than label relation between uh, a label fr uh, from a neighbor that to, to, the, to the destination that is being offered to a given router and the label at the router. And that's the whole story of this paper. And uh, there, uh, so um, just uh, uh, to convince uh, uh, the unconvincing, uh, audience. Uh, the proof of this is uh, by simple contradiction. And then uh, if we have, we assume that uh, all the, uh, all the uh, BGP speakers are, are, are using this uh, uh, label ordering uh, addition. And we assume even though they do that, then there is a, a loop created. It must be the case that this better than label is satisfied everywhere in the loop. And if we just traverse the loop, from uh, the first uh, node N1 to uh, the uh, N, N, N H minus one node back to N1, and we traverse the loop, we see that the, the, the label, uh, the, the next label has to be better than the previous label, which necessarily means because there is a loop that therefore a label has to be better than itself, which is impossible based on these additions to to, to the BGP way of choosing paths that we have incorporated. And uh, with that, then uh, uh, we can first say that, well, this is intuitive because it, no matter what we do, if uh, no matter what type of routing we do, if it is true that following the routing we do, we always get closer to the destination, the path we take is loop free. So it's, it's the, the, the ordering is uh, uh, result is intuitive. But uh, so based on that, I, I prove uh, that uh, the, the new BGP, OBGP is um, uh, loop free and terminates uh, within a finite time and it's in the paper. And uh, just to give you a sample of what o, uh, the OBGP does is basically just induces total ordering in BGP uh, in, the, in the, um, the import transformation it basically requests uh, the, the BGP speaker to use the, this better than label relation rather than just, uh, uh, I am not part of the path, therefore I shouldn't, uh, I, I can take the path. Uh, in terms of the uh, local preference function is the same that you would see in Cisco routers or, or any other uh, commercially available routers. Uh, the one thing that I, uh, we add is the computation, uh, keeping track of the maximum valid label to each destination. Why is that? Is because um, then that's what uh, the router, the BGP speakers will announce as their one path 
to a destination, even though they can use multiple local paths without telling the other routers. Um, and that's it. That's, uh, uh, there is no need for changes to the signaling of BGP. Uh, going back to the same uh, bad gadget uh, example, again, uh, the, the routers that uh, uh, with the direct paths, they send that to their neighbors. That in uh, OBGP allows the, the neighbors to uh, be able to adopt multiple routes, not just how many? Two minutes. Oh, then, uh, so we, uh, the, the good news is that we, uh, we end up with convergence. Um, and the secret is the, this label relationship plus the announcing the largest label possible. Um, I, um, as usual, I, I speak too, too long. I, I talk too, 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 too much, so I'll keep it short. Uh, in the paper, I explain how this also applies to uh, fixing BGP when uh, the autonomous systems are not fully meshed, in which case they are broken into, into uh, clusters. And the secret is to in induce top ordering by having a, a designated reflector uh, from which all the routes should uh, uh, start and terminate. Um, uh, and the, the, in the paper, I explain how that, uh, that is done and um, the fact that no loops can occur uh, uh, as a result. Um, and the, just uh, by, by second example, then the, the reason this works is because we induce total ordering across in, in, uh, among the clusters in a, in a given autonomous system. And because we, have, we start from total ordering to total ordering, we have total ordering. And uh, for uh, so, in conclusion, I have shown in the paper that BGP, the new BGP, is uh, loop-free and converges deterministically to multiple paths. Uh, there are no changes needed uh, 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 to the signaling of BGP, and so the next steps are exploring deployment strategies for OBGP and explore a new policy-based BGP flavor. That you may have heard of flavors uh, out in the literature that it, uh, takes into account quality of service uh, factors in addition to policy-based factors. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so questions from the audience? Hamid, do you mind uh, coming up to the microphone here? Thank you. So thank you for the interesting talk. Uh, thank you. Uh, so I'm just wondering, like for the experiments like conducted, is it like conducted over simulators or like over real network settings and so on? Oh, so the, uh, uh, so the, the question was uh, uh, about the experiments. Yes. Uh, um, being the, the, this paper being a paper by a single uh, lonely professor with, without uh, grad students helping, this was all about uh, just the, the, the proof of the logic of the protocol. The next step, we are going to do uh, simulations of uh, OBGP with BGP and see how the performance uh, works. But um, if we take at face value that uh, this works, it, it works. But so because it works, because it's all total ordering, the convergence of this BGP flavor is much faster than today's uh, BGP convergence. But uh, we haven't done simulations. It's all, it's all mathematical proof. I see. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Nils? Hi. <clears throat> Hi, thanks for the talk. Um, I was wondering, you extend BGP, and normally BGP has a lot of security problems nowadays. So, so can, oh, yeah. could you explain if this also helps uh, regarding security, security or if it even opens up new attack vectors? That, that, so the, I guess the key, the, 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 we don't change the signaling, therefore we don't induce, uh, uh, if we induce anything is due to the total ordering. And I have to go back to the, to the, to, to that. Uh, this is what BGP does. This is what we do. But if, if we notice, it's not that we are adding more information, there is this exactly the same information we already use in BGP. So I would say because we are constraining the behavior of the local policies, we can detect anomalous behavior. In, indeed, uh, if uh, we are forcing all the BGP speakers to say, you have to follow total ordering, any BGP speaker or is uh, not following the ordering 
or is perceived not to do so, then that could be uh, some help to detect uh, some attacks. But we haven't looked at, uh, at uh, any of that, uh, mainly because uh, time, but also because the focus was on how do we extend the way BGP uses the existing information. Thank you for the talk. Um, one question, when you have aggregation mechanisms in BGP, for example, prefix aggregation or AS sets, and now you rely on the AS number to define the total ordering, does this interfere in any way? Uh, we will have to, uh, you know, the same way that we can define a hierarchical uh, 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 intra-domain routing, we have to define how this setting applies to a hierarchical BGP. Uh, so, to make a long story short, uh, uh, what uh, I use as nodes, it can be routers, can be ASs, can be AS aggregations, is the same story. The, the total ordering formula doesn't change. It's how we apply the medicine that needs to be investigated. I, I do have a quick question as a follow up to Neil. So, in terms of the information, you said there will not be much different in so no security attacks, but did you look at the overhead in terms of like the, the, the that means also that there will be no extra overhead in terms of the control messages like the signal part? Right. So there is there is no changes in the signal, okay. and uh, uh, so it was a selling self imposed constraint. I wanted to say to see. Uh, well, I mean, I fixed uh, uh, kind of fixed the uh, rip using dual, but I I changed the signaling. But uh, with this, because of this aspect of BGP, that we have the path information. And then if we have the path, we know how long it is. And we and then we know who is first, which AS is first. And we can all, all, all there's additional information in the BGP of this. So the, the, the game of the paper is to really add uh, additional uh, constraints to define what is a better label than another without adding any, any information to the, uh, signaling of the protocol. Thank you. Thank you very much. So uh, again, thank you, Dr. Garcia.